You want to make sure that the flow continues. We don't want to do uh, damage to the vegetation or to the banks, which is all part of the habitat of that environment. You may own the land and you may own the, the land underneath the bed and banks of the waterway, but um, that doesn't give you the right to undertake any works on them. Building crossings on waterways in themselves are quite complex because it's a dynamic environment. Waterways, they're flowing in low flows, but in large rain events, you know, a lot of water can come down them and that impact of, of flooding could actually destroy the crossing that you've uh, invested all your money in. It also protects the permit holder from possible issues that that crossing might have on others. So what we're trying to do is manage third party impacts. There are penalties if you haven't got uh, authorisation to undertake works and activities and you damage the bed and banks and surrounds of a waterway and those penalties can be quite severe.